You'll feel like singing along too after seeing the new features and enhancements in Update 2.110. Our first new feature in Update 2.110 is the ability to load GIS data into your project. What is GIS? Geographic Information System, or simply GIS, is aerial images and surveyed terrain of a property, which can be loaded into your project for you. So how does it work? Click on Insert GIS Image in Stage 1 and enter the address of the property you wish to load. Once the address is verified, we can see the details of the image before downloading it. For example, this image has a quality of 3 inches per pixel. The average quality available on other mapping solutions is 12 to 14 inches per pixel. Next, we can review the date the image was captured. We want to ensure it's a recent date, especially when working with new developments. This image was taken less than one year ago. With this result, we'll receive five total images, the overhead view, as well as four angled views. These images will be saved to your project's screenshots folder. We're happy with our results, so we'll purchase this image. Each downloaded address will cost a single credit. Credits can be purchased one at a time or in discounted bulk packages. The property's aerial image and terrain data are now loaded into our project. The GIS image works just like a background image, so we can begin to trace our property and house. The image is already set to scale, so we know the measurements will be accurate. We can also view the scaled, angled images we downloaded. This is a great way to help design the client's property, take in existing features or obstacles, all without having to drive to their property. By referencing the angled images and tracing our aerial view, we can easily recreate the property. We can trace the house, property line, and surrounding areas using our standard tools. Here's how it looks overlaid on the GIS image once we're done. I've traced the property line, the house, added existing trees and neighboring features that are important to the client. When we take a look in 3D, we see the project come to life, including the terrain automatically loaded with the GIS image. We're so excited about this feature. It's a huge time saver and incredible new resource. We've shared with you GIS, some of our best work. Now you can share your best work with your clients as well. Click on the Project Information button to view the updated Media Viewer tab, where you can view screenshots and videos of your projects. You can quickly share your videos on YouTube, as well as Vimeo using a Vimeo Pro account. Upload a screenshot and a tweet to your Twitter followers, and email screenshots to coworkers and clients as well via email. If you enjoyed our opening tune, you can have your project sing along with the new 3D sound feature. Found on the Items tab, the Sound category contains objects you can place in your project to add music and sound from your computer to presentations and videos. Add sound effects like running water, crackling fire, or chirping birds, or record a custom message for your clients and play it for them as they tour the project. Once you place your sound object, you can adjust its settings in the panel menu. Click on the track name to choose the music file, and click play to preview it as well. In both 2D and 3D, we'll see the sound radius. When you move inside the sound radius in 3D, the track will begin to play. The loop option will play the sound on repeat, and play once will make the track play a single time. You can adjust both the sound volume and the radius as well. In the hide on hide menu, we can hide the 3D sound icons, and mute the sound as well, and the audio in your project will play for you in the presentation mode and video mode clips as well. Several improvements to the visual features make their way into the update. Fire features are now visible through water in 3D, so you can show off your dynamic visual effects. And water features can be seen through glass, so your clients can enjoy the falling water from the comfort of their virtual home. Several water features can now be adjusted to stop pouring water at a set height. The three descents and waterfall effect have a stop at value, so water pouring on top of a waterfall will no longer pass through the rocks below. We can also adjust the sound levels of fire and water features. With your visual effects selected, the volume slider can be used to increase or decrease the sound level for the selected feature. Update 2.1 improved the planter stage so that geometric shapes could touch on the grid in 2D and not combine in 3D. With 2.110, this is improved further for planters with both lines and arcs. 
This means that all planters will load as unique shapes in 3D, with individual depths and materials. VizTerra and VIP Suite members can now create and assign their own unique plant and tree symbols. While in construction markup, use the drawing tools to create your custom symbols on a markup layer, click Save in the library, choose the Landscaping Symbol button at the top, name your symbol, and save it. When we return to the Landscaping tab, the Edit button will now show your custom symbols to assign to your plants and trees. Some quick tips for symbols is to draw complete shapes so the plant will display a fill pattern, and use the line tool instead of arc to make your symbols and projects load faster. Have you ever needed to draw something small? I mean really small, like decorative trim tiles or highly detailed construction markup? Well now you can. Shapes drawn in house, custom shapes, and construction markup can now be drawn as small as one third an inch. Zoom in close on the grid, Set your grid to off, and you can draw line segments below one inch. It's important to remember to turn the grid back on once you're done drawing your details. A number of improvements to the construction phase of the software have been added with Update 2.110. First, lines and shapes will appear much cleaner than before. Overlapping shapes at different heights, such as pools and spas with coping, will not show the lines overlapping in construction. How shapes will appear much cleaner as well, with no roof or interior lines. It's important to note this change means coping will appear in construction markup and page layout. Simply select the coping in construction markup and click the hide selected button to hide it in your construction phase. Custom fill patterns can be saved to the library as well. Using the color wheel, Fill patterns can be given a custom color, including the artistic fill patterns in VizTerra in the VIP suite. Once edited, click Save in the library and check the Fill Pattern button at the top. These fill patterns can be applied to shapes in construction, and VizTerra and VIP suite members can assign them as default colors for their plants and trees as well, but more on that in a moment. Updated line style settings allow you to set a custom line style size. On the Line Styles tab, select the style from the drop-down menu and set a custom line style size. This works in both construction markup as well as page layout. Speaking of page layout, our first enhancement here is borders for objects and groups. Borders can be added around objects such as your 2D view, pool depth profile, legends, and images. Choose your border style on the Object tab and adjust the thickness. Groups of text can be given a border as well. With your text selected, click Group to group it together and add a border style and size, just like we can for objects. And while we're working with group text, when using Tab to move through text fields, Tab will only move through the current group of text. Click with the Move tool to select another text group and tab through that as well. Our final construction enhancement is Legend, no need to wait for it, Dairy. VizTerra and VIP Suite members can now display their custom fill patterns and line styles assigned to plants and trees in the Legend. Assign a default fill and line style in the Landscaping tab as we did earlier, or adjust these settings in the Construction Markup stage. Your plant legend will now show these fill and line style changes. A number of other improvements and bug fixes are included in the update as well. For example, Photo Mode has been given a refreshed interface and supports up to 99 unique locations. For a full list of all improvements and bug fixes, check out the newsletter on the blog. Thanks for watching. Please share your feedback and suggestions with us online. Call us at 800 778 8996 or email support at structurestudios.com.